Hello, my soccer universe. Time for another Women's World Cup update. And I was not planning on wearing a US jersey. I actually thought I will wear probably a Swedish or a Dutch jersey. But then, yeah, the US ran riot today, and I think it's only fitting. That's the performance of the day. Uh, the US beat up on Thailand as I uh, thought they would, but they, they scored 13. By only being up three at the half, that is amazing, and they clearly underlined the status. Yes, we will be the favorite here. Yes, Thailand is not the team that you would expect to put up any resistance, but still, you gotta uh, score 13. And at the Women's World Cup, there's always a result like that in there. Uh, but I think I have never seen a 13 nothing. Uh, I unfortunately haven't seen much of the match because I was watching European qualifiers, but uh, just quickly the scorers, Alex Morgan in the 12th, Rose Lavelle in the 20th and Lindsay Horn in the 32nd, and then it is just an avalanche. There are four goals within seven minutes. Samantha Muiz in the 50th, Alex Morgan again in the 53rd, Samantha Muiz again in the 54th, Rose Lavelle gets a second one in the 56th, then so... Basically, almost everyone at, the mo at that moment, has, uh, if they had scored, had scored two. Alex Morgan gets a third, not her last one, a 74th. So they let turn a little bit off the hook until they wrapped it up, ratchet it up again. Rapino, 79th. Alex Morgan gets a fifth in the 81st. Mallory Pui gets in the 84th. Alex Morgan gets a sixth in the 87th. And Carly Lloyd in the 92nd. I mean, we know Alex Morgan is uh, projected to be the star of this tournament. Uh, absolute slaughter. Uh, that's the one thing I'm actually looking forward to watching the highlights. They will be linked above. The game that I did see somebody, you know, I had the telephone screen while I was working so I was at least list listening and sometimes watching was New Zealand against the Netherlands because the Netherlands are a team that I got quite familiar with during the last Euros um, a team you know if ever there's a team putting on a Dutch jersey there's a chance that I will uh, root for them and yeah the Dutch women are probably my favorite uh, women's national team you're right after Italy uh, what a surprise uh, and I wanted to see them and see how, how they're doing, especially I, I was expecting an orange wave there. It was not as many fans as I would have expected in Le Havre, but there were quite some. So uh, you could see the what I was I'm missing now when I watch Dutch, uh, um, the Dutch on the men's stage, you know, they used to have the band playing in the background. That is not at the men's, at the women's, there. it's still there. So that was actually nice. And the women also play this kind of uh, possession-based uh, style that we are used from the Dutch. However, they had trouble today. Especially in the first half with all the possession they had, they barely uh, got chances. And it was New Zealand uh, who was uh, were really, really dangerous. Especially Rosie White and Sarah Gregorius were really, really dangerous. Uh, New Zealand had three top chances, I think, in the first half. Uh, one even hit the bar. They should have scored. The Dutch got a good chance at the, at the, at the, at the end of the first half. I think, I want to say Miedema, but I'm pretty sure it was not her now. Uh, missed. And right after the start of the second half, uh, New Zealand had another glorious chance that it should have been in at that moment. And... Um, I, yes, I was more for the Dutch, but I actually thought that yeah, New Zealand is putting up a fight. I think at the previous World Cup, the Dutch actually beat New Zealand for their only win uh, at, the, at the World Cup so far. So maybe there was some revenge in there as well. Anyway, the longer the game went, the more the speed and the fitness of the Dutch came to shine. And you could see that uh, New Zealand was then uh, mostly only defending anymore. And um, it really looked like a 0-0, zero -zero, although I had this feeling, yeah, the Dutch could get this lucky punch because New Zealand is hanging clearly in the ropes. Um, and it was one of those where you feel, yeah, if the Dutch score, it probably is slightly deserved, but I would feel sorry for the New Zealand women because they really put up a big fight. They made the chance, they just didn't take them. 
and as it is it happened uh, Jill Rort who got only in in the 76th minute scores the winner in stoppage time and the Netherlands are off to a good start and we have another European win. Another European win of course was also between Chile and Sweden uh, but it was left late. I mean the Swedes had chances and the Chilean goalkeeper was saving uh, quite well. Um, when I watched the highlights up here of course again um, I was really happy. Uh, I heard the name Araya I'm immediately thinking Slayer and yes he's Chilean. I don't like Chile most of the time because you know I have Peruvian friends and they really don't like Chile so Chile is the team in South America that I should cheer against although to be honest I don't have anything that uh, I didn't have any personal bad experience with any Chileans and yes Slayer is from Chile. Uh, the weather was very Slayer like. Um, it went from sunshine and muggy weather to a uh, thunderstorm and the game had to be uh, interrupted for a while because it just got too wet and too da dangerous with all the lightning on, uh, going, going on. Once the game restarted, Sweden finally found the break room through Aslan in the 83rd and then in stoppage time, Janogi uh, makes it 2-0 and Sweden gets off to a good start. Sweden a few year, years ago would have been among the favorites, but I think they're at most a quarterfinal team now. So um, I wouldn't count them uh, among the top favorites, although their match against the US, this is the matchup where, yes, they play a lot against each other, uh, usually with the US as a winner, but Sweden always has it in there to really put a wrench in the US's plans. And yep, the last time they met was at the 2016 Olympics where the Swedes won. So you never know. Also at that point, I mean the way the tournament is set up, we could have an epic quarterfinal between the US and France, which many say are the two best teams. If France wins the group and the US wins the group, that's what says this is up for. I could imagine that at that point the US might say maybe let's give Sweden the first spot. Or that France is already speculating, so that will be interesting. Tomorrow to uh, big matches. Uh, I think the early one between Germany and Spain, that's really um, a mega matchup, I would say. Uh, I hope I can see a little bit of that one. And then in the evening is France against Norway, um, which yeah, is the only chance that probably France will not win the group. Anyway, so that's for me for the Women's World Cup for today. Um, I will probably, this was the last time that I, well, one of the last times we'll make uh, review video without having seen the highlights of the late game I might do them now uh, in the morning in the car or whatever let's see how it will go anyway give me a thumbs up if you still enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.